All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about are people faking it in their portfolios when they use projects from a course? OK, let's talk about it. Right. So it seems like a lot of you guys have been like criticizing my last video and not really my video, criticizing uh, the developer uh, that I review his portfolio in that video. Right. Yeah. Criticizing him because he has. I guess some projects from some guy named Jonas who I've never heard of, right? Shout out to him, whoever he, he is or her is, I don't know. Um, and people like, man, Jonas is everywhere. <laughs> How is like looking at the, the comments like, I shouldn't have read the comments first, first before watching the video. They make this sound like Udemy courses reviews rather than a portfolio, specifically Jonas courses as as pointed out in the comments still a nice feedback from joe yeah i think how kind of gets it right but let's continue uh to the next thing let's see what else uh i'm an inspiring web developer da 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 right this is nice da 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 uh three of the projects are taken from udemy courses of jonas food basket says design inspiration from jonas man whatever maybe he only got the design but it's his own code. Haven't taken any Jonas's course. I don't know who Jonas is. Again, uh, let me see. The problem he is talking about. Da, 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 this is another comment. <laughs> I don't know, guys. But it seems like people are, are talking about this, right? So they're talking about the same thing. Man, they're upset about the projects. They're like, man, are people getting into the industry? Right? Are they finagle their way in? Are they finessing their way into the industry with course projects? Right? Are they bullshitting? Are they faking it till they make it? What are they doing? Da da da. Right? And people are just pissed off because people are finessing their way into the industry. Right? They didn't create those projects. Right? I'm over here busting my ass building projects and there's guys out there probably getting a job right now as we speak with projects that they didn't build. Okay? And you know what, man? It is what it is, right? What more can you do? Okay? Um, you know, for me, this portfolio reviews that I do is really to help you guys out and show you guys what looks good, what doesn't look good, what looks professional, what doesn't look professional. Like, as you guys can see and you can tell, I don't go into the code base. And most people, right, that's going to look at your portfolio the first time, right, the first round, they're not going to look into your code. Nobody goes in there and be like, let's go into GitHub. Let's download the GitHub files and, and you know, NPM install this whole project. Nobody does that, bro. You think a HR person does that? You think a <laughs> recruiter does that? You think the CEO of a company or a small company that is looking to hire somebody, you think he just goes in there, NPM installs everything? No, nobody does that, okay? You know, this type of projects that you see here, nobody knows them. Like, I don't even know who the hell is Jonas, to be honest with you, right? And do you think, like, the average person, the average American out here knows who the hell Jonas is and, and what courses he has? No, it's the same thing as like when somebody comes to codingface.com. It's not a mainstream course, right? It's not mainstream courses. Like let's say you look at Cole Steele's course, like, you know, the what was it the Def Camp, whatever it is, the the last project he has. Everybody has that. Okay? Every single person has done that project. So yeah, people could recognize it right away. But projects like this, like nobody knows this, right? Nobody really uh, have seen this like that in mainstream. Okay, maybe in the future, you know, a year, two years from now, once everybody has been doing the same projects, then yeah. But right now, currently, you know, nobody knows about these projects, right? Um, and at the same time, from my understanding and from other, what other people were saying was that um, this individual, this kid from uh, Australia, he went in there and he changed the images. He changed the colors. He changed things around. That's from my understanding. Like, again, I haven't seen the course from Jonas, but from my understanding, he changed things around. And that's what you're supposed to do. Like, make it your own. Yes, you took a course, right? And you did a project on a course, but you could go in there, change it around, change your images, change the data, right? Uh, go ahead and... I don't know, uh, maybe change the topic of whatever the project might be. If it's about movies, make it about games. If it's about games, make it about movies, etc. Right? You got to say, like, make it your own. 
Some people will recognize it, the people that have taken the course and be like, oh, this looks very familiar. But at the end of the day, none of you guys are hiring him. You're going to say none of you guys are going to be interviewing him. You're just another developer trying to get a job just like him. Okay, so it's like if we come in here and we're like, you know what, we're just going to throw stones at everybody's freaking glass house. You got to remember your house is made out of glass, too. Okay, at the end of the day, where's your portfolio? Okay, so now we're flipping it to you guys, right? If you have such a great portfolio and you're so ready to condemn somebody else's project and be like, man, this project is horrible. This project is a shit. This project is a copy from this, this and that. Where's your portfolio? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, this dude is trying. This dude is, is active, right? He has certain skills, right? Um, maybe he right now he's in the... In, in, in a process of like building his own projects, but at least he's showing like, hey, this is the things that I have done, right? And he's made it to his own. Like you can't knock that, right? And me from looking at those projects and, and looking at the exposure that he already has as a developer, I would say, you know what? I would hire him. I would at least give him the interview to come in into an in-person interview. And, and that's the point of a portfolio, right? Sometimes... I see people that that have like JavaScript calculators, right? It's usually the people that have like JavaScript calculators on their portfolio saying, hey, man, at least I built my JavaScript calculator, but this guy put uh, a project from a course. Why is he getting a pass? And it's not really about who's getting a pass and who's not getting a pass, right? It's about who has a project on their portfolio that is an asset to the team, Right? Because you could have the, the same projects as that person. You both took the same courses, but you decided, hey, man, I'm going to build something from scratch. And instead of building a real project, I'm just going to build a JavaScript calculator. I'm going to build a little memory game, right? Like you're not even trying to build something that a business could say, you know what? This person is an asset. Okay. And I see this all the time because you know what? When people come in and, and leave comments, I, I kind of like to go in there go into their you know do my little do digit do diligence right of like <laughs> click on on their profile see what we could find now about them see you know because i see a lot of times people talk oh hi and mighty but then when you start looking at their portfolio they're like eh, not that great either right so all i'm saying is with this are people scheming their way into the industry yes Let's be honest. Yes. Right. This happens every day. There's people that fake it till they make it. Do they last long? No. Okay. Did this kid who did this portfolio, is he scheming? Is he faking it? No. He took a couple of courses. He changed them around, added new things to it. Right. He's showing that he's comfortable with it. Right. When he goes to the interview, he's going to have to explain the projects. He's going to have to go in there more in depth and say, hey, why did we choose this? Why did we choose that? Right. Then from there, the interviewer is going to actually go in and be like, oh, is this person legit or is this person not legit? Right. If somebody that's not legit get in the industry and finesse their way into it by faking it or whatever it could be. You know what? At the end of the day, that's what they're supposed to do. The job of the person who's interviewing them is supposed, they're supposed to catch all those things, right? I could tell when somebody is faking it, right? When somebody's coming in and be like, oh, I know PHP, uh, I know Laravel, I know uh, Ruby on Rails, I know a million different things. And then you ask them about MVC and they're like, uh, like, you're going to say like, there's little ways to catch people. This is ways to just like throw a little something in the air and you catch them, right? But like I said, guys, you know, I think having projects from courses is not a problem. The problem is, you know, not changing them, having them exactly the same way. So from here on, guys, you know, if somebody has a project from a course, right, unless it's exactly the same way, right, then you know, leave it alone. It's not a big deal. It's not like, oh my God, it's the end of the world, right? Even I myself, when I was first starting, I had like 
take it like, uh, let's say, a backbone course. And I had on my portfolio a project from that backbone course. Everybody does this. Now, when you go to the job interview, then that's when you got to demonstrate that you really know what you're talking about. You get what I'm saying? But once again, the goal of a portfolio is to demonstrate what you can do and to show that you can hit the ground running. Like you have real projects. Okay. I don't get upset with people or I don't give people a bad review unless they have, you know, bullshit projects or they have like random colors on their portfolios or, you know, they have random animations that don't need to be there. That's hard to look at uh, websites that look like they're in the 1990s. Right. Like in situations like that, then, yeah, we're going to be like, OK, this is a bad portfolio. But if the portfolio has real projects and it's trying to attract businesses to hire the person to me that's a go okay i don't care if the project came from a course okay because literally a lot of my students do the same thing they come in and, and take some of my courses add in, uh the projects to their portfolio but what i always tell them is change them around change them around add new features so you could be more comfortable and you could say hey man this is what i built and because at the end of the day, you did build it. You just happen to build it with an instructor, okay? But if you understand everything that's happening in that project and you add in new features, you change the images around, you change the titles, you change the et cetera, the data, right? Then now you demonstrate that you actually know what you're doing, okay? So it is what it is, man. Um, I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I mean, is it bad having projects from a course inside of your portfolio personally like i said i don't think so if it's projects that are, are geared towards uh, businesses or projects that showing your your skills as a developer i don't mind it once again what we do mind is ugly ass portfolios that look horrible uh crazy fonts crazy text you know <laughs> crazy design layouts uh, you know crazy animations Right. At the same time, having a JavaScript calculator, having a little, uh, you know, JavaScript clock or some crazy shit like that, that is for practice is not for you to get a job. Those are the things that I don't like. All right. But anyways, man, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about it. It is what it is. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com. Stay tuned for the next video. See you guys later. Peace.